Hi, I'm Michael Bovey. Thanks for tuning in to Debt Bites, our YouTube channel. And today I'm going to cover a reader question that asks why or how or can I settle a debt, say a credit card, with a bank that I already have other balances with. Say you have a mortgage with the same bank and a credit card or a car loan or insurance products or a checking and or a savings account. So the short answer to that is yes. And the long answer to that is, yeah, indeed, but be prepared. So here's the rub. Let's say I'm dealing with Bank of America, for example, and I have a mortgage with them and a credit card. So there's pretty good firewall between mortgage and, and you know, the credit card. The way that you settle a credit card debt when you have a mortgage with the same bank isn't really going to change that much unless you're dealing with the credit union. So national banks uh, like Wells Fargo, Chase, Citibank, uh, Bank of America, those big behemoths, you're really not going to experience much difference. But if you have a credit card, say with Chase, and you want to keep that one, but you want to settle this other one, not a good idea. So there are breaking points where there's accounts that I just won't underwrite. I don't want somebody to settle a $700 balance. They can settle their $7,000 balance, but a $700 balance doesn't make much sense. But if you have that same situation where both accounts are with the same bank and you're going to have to negotiate the $7,000 balance that you haven't been paying, you're not going to typically be able to keep that $700 balance. In fact, if you're watching this video, you might have already found out that your creditor might close the open account, open revolving consumer credit card account, even because you're not paying the other one. You might even have other creditors close accounts because they can see from periodic reviews of your credit report that you're not paying on other accounts and that's a risk factor that they'll use to say, hmm, maybe we should lower that person's credit limit or close their account. So if you've got a situation where, and I mentioned credit unions, so let me talk about that. You've got a, an insurance product like your car insurance and a car loan and then a credit card and even a checking account with that credit union. A lot of the times there's cross collateral clauses in the credit union contracts. So you are putting yourself at risk in your efforts of settling that credit card while you're trying to keep and juggle or keep the plates in the air on those other loans, right? Maybe not necessarily a mortgage, but certainly a car loan and insurance products and things like that so that you can impair your relationship with the small or uh, regional credit union by trying to settle a credit card but maintain the other relationship. Sometimes you have to move away from those other relationships and sometimes you just have no choice. But that can mean that your settlements aren't going to be as good as they would have been otherwise. Now, one of the key things that I talk about in preparing somebody like a customer over the years for negotiating a settlement with say a credit card bank that they have their checking account with is I encourage them to shut down that account. Maybe not shut it off, but keep very little money in it, open up a different account so that your bills, your, your deposits and everything in your bills are paid from this other separate account. Maybe keep a hundred or two hundred dollars, whatever it's necessary to just keep that account open while you're doing a settlement on a credit card with that same bank. And then if you like the bank and you like the tellers and the branches that you go to and some of the other products and services that are come with your checking or savings, you can after the settlement come back typically and continue to use those accounts. But it's not a good idea to have open checking and savings accounts that are your main uh, accounts that you pay your bills from and, and receive money into while you're doing a settlement with that bank. There are some other instances where you might want to consider keeping an account out of a settlement program or your own uh, goals of resolving unpaid debts when you're dealing with the same bank. And yeah, I can cover that in a much more situational um, kind of approach. If you give me the details in the comments below, we respond to all of our YouTube comments, or you can reach me at the number on the screen. I'm extension two and I offer free consults. So you can tell me a little bit more about your situation and your concerns, and I can help you better then. See you on the next video.